Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2019. We are on stage number two, the team time trial. 27 kilometers long, pretty flat, looks like it's pretty straightforward. And we need to grab our riders, including some of the time trial experts in here. <coughs> Ron Dennis. <coughs> and um, try to get a good result for Nibali. Because that is the guy we're trying to catapult to the top of the leaderboards. Oh, and we are one of the favorites to take this. Yeah, that is what I would assume with our team setup. And this is one of the reasons why I chose this team. Because of how the time trials are laid out this year. But um, still need to do a good job and actually put them in a position where they can get that result. So let's see how we uh, we manage. And here we are on the start line. Well, not with our team, but uh, just in general. And uh, the first teams are swooshing away. And we are going to start in um, eighth or something. So let's see. And here we are on the line. Let's set them up. Nibali. Having a good day, it seems. I still don't get a race day condition here, but uh, can already spot it there. Let's wait a second for, for it to set up, but uh, he is really good today. So let's put him at, uh, of course, maximum 99 effort and give him a good solid, what would that be, like 18 seconds or something of lead work uh, per relay. Okay. So, now it has actually started, and that is just 15 seconds. Yeah, I mean, let's do 16. And I'm going to go through and set them all up, depending on their general skill. Oof, Caruso is not doing well today. Uh, but he is still a decent time trialer, so not, not only decent, really good, actually. So, 74 there. Not quite as good as Nibali with his 77 today. Uh, slightly slower, also go 99, of course. Tratnik is doing really well today. So, 99 and do... Um, yeah, 14. Colbrelli, well, not so much. Not so much. Let's, let's not waste too much time up front. Good sir, you might be slowing us down way too much. So you do uh, five second intervals. Oh, beautiful. Okay, Ron Dennis. You are my savior. That is looking great. You are going to do 20 second pulls. And Morik, well, it's not too bad, really. 10 second pulls. This team is just so solid in time trial. It's great. It's awesome. So let's, let's set you up as well. This is looking like a 15 second pull. And last and least in time trial, um, we are going to get you a get you an out of this like you, you do you do three seconds at max performance so now here we go we start off Nibali is doing his first pull and we are riding along this is looking pretty good um, the only thing we need to watch out for is that once they're up front and have to pull again oh we are s soon crossing the line for the first split um, once they're up front and having to pull again or almost there they need to be back to uh, the equivalent of oh let's let's move across where are we right now third five seconds behind all right um, we need to be back here like the the uh, finish line having progressed or the way to the finish line having progressed as much as our our resistance bar That was a very nice pull by Ron Dennis, and the long one too, the longest possible. Will he even be, yeah, he will be able to do one more pull, I believe. Maybe. Yeah, there are a few short ones in here too, so it should work out. I do want to make sure that Ron Dennis does another full pull. And I think he should be able to, it's still 11 kilometers left to go. Yes, okay, Colbrelli, out of the way, here comes Ron Dennis. Pull Dennis! Pull, pull. So not, not Dennis. We, we don't call you that. We call you Ron. All right, he needs to just give it more. Oh, oh, 25. Give it all. Just continue pulling. 
Ca can't we put you on infinite relay? We would, if we could, we would. And the final kilometer around these corners and across the line. Oh, in second, three seconds behind. Uh, there's still other teams to uh, to cross the line, of course, but that was a solid performance, I believe. Could have used slightly more of Ron Dennis, but nah, it was close. Oh no. Oh no, it was not close at all. Holy shit. Uh, how. How did they do that? 44 seconds. We finished in 11th. 44 seconds behind. I thought we did pretty well. But no, obviously not. So in the general classification, that means that uh, Mika Kwiatkowski is now up front. Well, that's, that's a good man to be in, in yellow for stage number three, that's for sure, because that is a puncher stage. Um, but, oh, okay. Well, that didn't quite go as planned then. So now we are way, way down in the general classification. In 71st at 44 seconds behind. Well, all right, all right. We will have some opportunity to getting that back. But the main problem here is that uh, Garrett Thomas, of course, doesn't have that disadvantage. But what I do spy with my little eyes here is that he has a mediocre downhill skill. Hmm, uh, we might be able to use that one time or another. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you guys tomorrow with the next stage.